Hey Capricorns, I'm Jess of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is what I'm seeing for you at the time of you watching this video, but for those who are subscribed to my channel, you're probably waiting for your April forecast, and this is what that what that is. Um, okay, so I will say that I was cleans cleansing the deck and getting it ready for your reading. And I have to say that the cards that I was seeing in the center of the reading are very much you feeling gung-ho. This isn't an intuitive thing that I'm hearing or intuitive word. It's what I feel it as. It feels like a person who's very gung-ho. They're very, like, it almost reminds me of someone who... This is going to be like the weirdest metaphor, but if you're in the water, if you've ever been in a, in a pool or an ocean and you push all of your hands forward in, in the waves and all of the momentum of that pushes forward, Capricorn, I see that you're in this space where you're pushing it forward and the wave of that, the energy of that, you're trying to move something forward with such force and such power. I do not think that this is a negative thing I or a bad thing. I see that spirit, the divine, the universe, whoever you want to call it, sees your power. It sees you exerting this energy, but it also says, can you let me do for you what I want to be able to do for you, what I want to be able to give to you? There's, as you know, at the time of me filming, there's a lot going on in the world when it comes to... Um, you know, the, the world as we know it, it's really changing. Everything's kind of locked up right now, literally and figuratively. However, as this is happening, there's this like cleansing clarification process. And through that, there needs to be a healthy level of respect and surrender to that process. I do not see Capricorn that you have to totally surrender, which means that you have to abandon your effort or abandon you know, speaking your will or putting the energy out there, I do feel like you're going to do it but and do that regardless. But I feel as though um, spirit is like, why don't I need you to conserve some of your power, conserve some of the energy that you're exerting out there. This could be you starting something, seeing something new, despite all of what's going on, you might be stepping into new new territory, new new environment, new realms, initiating a new project. And it's, it's almost like continue on, but put yourself almost like, this is funny, almost like when your, butt, your, your, phone, your phone is fully charged, but you put it on low battery mode. So you're not exerting as much energy, but you're still putting energy out there. You're still able to use your phone, but it allows the energy to prolong. This is going to help you mentally to relax and to be at ease. It also helps you to go the distance, um, or this allows this project, this relationship, this thing to go the distance versus you coming in with full force sledgehammer and just kind of knocking things and changing things and we're going to do all of this, we're going to build, we're going to create. You have the power, the potential to do it and knowing you Capricorn, it would be a success. But at this point, it's it's best to kind of reserve all of that. So instead of it being this, this is what we're going to do. This is where we're going. Where are we headed? This is what I can see. This it's it. Then it's not so. And I don't see you being um, neurotic. I don't see you being anxious. Although it can trigger anxiety, which if that's the case, that's even more reason for you to fall back and respect spirit's timing for your life and what is happening here. But it can really, um, like, it can almost be. Um, um, not distracting, but it can almost be deafening for people who you're working with or people that you want to collaborate with. They might not be able to keep up or they might not be ready or whatever the case is. That's what it is that I'm getting. That's just initially the vibe of what it is that I'm looking at. As I'm looking at this, um, the, three, the two cards that jumped out for you are Three of Wands and Knight of Wands. This proves my point already that there is so much energy, excitement, enthusiasm that 
you are exerting, that you're putting out there. And spirit right now with Knight of, Knight of Wands Reverse specifically says slow down and give everyone a chance. Give everything a chance to catch up with your momentum. Maybe you feel like, well, Jess, I'm not progressing or things aren't progressing as fast as I would. Or maybe you can see things starting to progress and it makes you excited. It makes you thrilled to get the ball going even further and it's spirit says we love your enthusiasm we love your energy we love that you have this new thing um this new exciting excitement this new project whatever this is this new relationship we love it but give everyone a chance to catch up so that you can all equally collaborate and do not be disrespectful in you saying to anyone well i'm ready where are you at or this is what i want to do you know, you can't do it because you can't match my energy. Be very respectful of where everyone and everything is at right now, which is, for the most part, most people are at a standstill. Um, Capricorn, I feel like you're the only zodiac sign so far that has had more, <laughs> which makes sense because Saturn just exited out of your sign. So I just feel like you probably feel the, the, the weight of that is lifted off of your shoulders. So you're like, whoo, I can do anything. Like watch me, watch me, like you're ready to go. You've been really holding and shouldering a lot. Um, it feels like the things have been, look at you, I can't. <laughs> Capricorn, I wish I had your energy, that's what I'm gonna say. Um, I definitely wish I had your energy right now. Or your, your power, like your power. I've been so very focused, like I've been very introverted lately. I've been, my energy has been focused on going internally. You are ready to push out. You're ready to collaborate. You're ready to connect. You're ready to build. You, it really feels like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. As I'm looking at this, the root of your reading, <laughs> my loves, is eight of wands reverse. This is the base of your reading and you want to, look, look, this is you. Literally what it was that I was saying, you are ready to put yourself out there, to push this project out there, to explode, to explore, to get out there, to build. And I just feel like, and it's because something ended. It's because, and a weight was lifted. Uh, there was a breakthrough. There was a breakdown. And finally, it just was like, whew, like I needed that to be taken off of my shoulders. I believe that this had everything to do with watch Saturn exiting out of Capricorn. When Capri when Saturn exited out of Capricorn, that's probably when you felt this release. It's probably when you felt this burden lifting off to your shoulders. And now you're like, well, what can I do? I can do so many things. I'm, I'm more than halfway through my journey. The journey thus far has been difficult at best and at worst. And... You know, what can I create? What can I build? I have so much energy that I'm going to push out there. And the universe says, we get your enthusiasm. You're pulling from your resources. You're pulling from your reserve. You're feeling very strong. If you don't, you will at the for this month or the next 28, 30 day, 20 to 30 days ahead. Um, that's what you're going to be building on is pulling from this root, um, root chakra of realness, like really root chakra with it, which is self-worth, self-value, feeling safe, feeling protected. Well, for you, I'm seeing root sacral and solar plexus energy all kind of swirling together, but it's very red. It's, it's giving me more root chakra than anything else, but all of those colors are blending and merging into one. Even though as I'm looking at your cards, there's a lot of blue showing in intuition and emotion, but at the very top of this is the red and the orange, so that confirms to me already. Um, but I just feel like all of this ability to create and to manifest, not to set intention, but to actual manifest and receive is coming from this space of my very survival is no longer threatened. I'm safe. I'm secure. I have stability. Something feels stable for you. Something has been cemented for you. Something that you've been waiting and working on to build, then it starts to fall together. The pieces of the puzzle start to fall into place. So that's what it is I'm seeing for you. However, Spirit is also saying don't just dive in and um, not that you're not prepared, it's just there, there's this space of we're trying to get all of the things, all the pieces of the puzzle together to collaborate for you, and not everybody is there yet, or not everything is there yet. So give them time to catch up, they will. Um, I'm interested in seeing what May is going to look like for you, but for right now, you really want to explore your options. Look at this, Capricorn. You have Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups in the center. 
um, showing that, oh my gosh, this is a wish. This is something that I've been working towards. This is something I've been waiting to see. One, it's something that I've been waiting to manifest and you're starting to see the signs of it or you have seen it. So it just allows you to be like, oh my God. Like, And then when you see it, when you see the light at the end of the tunnel and you see this little gift, this newness, this new energy, this finally we're here, then it makes you think, I'm gonna, what, what all can I do with this? I can do so many things. I can do so many things. And spirit says that's beautiful, but at the same time, really pace yourself and center yourself. Um, Queen of Cups is here reverse in the center of your reading. I just feel as though this is giving things more time to formulate, to be nurtured. Not that you need to nurture it, um, because Capricorn, you do not want to take steps back. Okay, hear me when I say that. Not that you need to be the thing to nurture it. Um, people and situations around you, they need to be able to be stable on their own. It cannot be you feeding into it, feeding into it, giving to it. Um, because it will take from you, because you have a lot to give, but it will deplete your energy. That's why I'm saying low battery mode. Okay, if you move forward, if everything continues on as forward, you're going to find that you're going to be carrying and dragging the weight of things behind you instead of giving them time to catch up. Does that make sense? You need to not make mis you not you need to not make the mistake of feeding into the mouths of others and helping others and being a stepping stone for others um, that are going to eventually collaborate with you. Everyone, you have to have respect to of timing and where they're at in their journey and where they're at in their mind so that those things could be prepared for you and they do it on their own. That's why Capricorn, it's not a no, it's just explore your, like we see you exploring your options, but give things a chance to catch up. Um, that's what it is that you need to do. And I'm looking at this or you'll, you'll end up starting this new journey, starting this new phase within your life and being the only one capable of carrying the burden. And it's going to end up being exactly that, a burden, when everyone needs to be on the same page in order to keep this ball rolling. Not just now, but mark my words, but in the future. Believe me. Um, Capricorn, I forgot to mention in the start of your reading, because now I'm thinking about it, your energy is so excited that I for, totally forgot to say this, but I'm also going to be shuffling cards for your love life, because... Um, yeah, you. I'm doing that for all readings for the month of April, all zodiac signs for the month of April. And because you guys are asking for it, so I'm going to deliver. In the past, do you see you've been really working on your stability? Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. This gives me rootedness, groundedness, root chakra. So you've been really working on manifesting and working towards stable everything. It's not just one thing, it's everything in your life. You want stability. You want what's yours and you want it to not be something that is taken from you abruptly overnight and then you're left with what nothing and feeling vulnerable and taken advantage of you're not doing that anymore so I do see that and it's been totally healing for you it's been emotionally he healing for you it's been a release an emotional release for you it might even have to come from you found yourself somehow by the things that it is that were Emo that were you emotionally lost the things that is that you had to surrender to to the universe and say okay god okay divine i'm gonna have to trust you when it comes to my feelings my emotions and the matters of the heart and that helped you to cement yourself and ground yourself and to get you to where you're at for this for this month the energy of your reading look my love you have page of cups in the center i just find that so sweet and so innocent but it just goes to show even further what it was that i was saying is that i just feel like Give everyone a chance to develop or they will get away with murder. Um, especially with the Seven of Swords. I don't see this as, oh, he's cheating. Oh, they're sneaking away with something. Or, oh, I'm being deceiving or anything like that. You're just becoming wiser. You're just becoming more um, strategic. You've learned. So having said that, you don't want to build a family with a teenage girl or boy, that doesn't even make sense. They're going to inevitably rebel because they were teenagers when you married them. You don't want to build a brand with a, a teenage young adult because, you know, 
it, you just can't count on them. Like they're just not, they're not emotionally mature. You, they're, and let's say it's not a person. Let's say it's not a business. It's a something. Whatever it is that you're working on in the month of April, whatever it is that spirit has you focusing your attention on, you have to give all of the pieces a chance to develop so that they can collab with you, so that they can build with you. And here you are at the center of it with high expectations, high hope, high energy, and a vision. So it will come, but you want to be very strategic with what it is that you give out, what it is that you create, what it is that you're pouring into. Because you have learned. You have learned. Moving forward, we have the Hermit card, we have Three of Cups reversed, and we have the Moon card reversed. So this is what I'm saying. There's a lot of things. This is not a warning. This is more a reminder of what it is I just was saying, what it was I was picking up on. You're very gung-ho. You're very excited. You're very, like, let's do this. Um, but you can't see everything. And in, in order to avoid disappointment, and I don't know why this word is departure. Hold on, guys. I'm looking um, out my window. When I do readings, I kind of look out my window. And there's a lady who's trying to cross the street, and she's in an automatic wheelchair, and her, her wheelchair just stopped. Okay, she's going again. Okay, cool. I was concerned. I was going to be like, do I have to go down there and wheel her out of the road because I don't want her to be stuck there? But maybe that's a metaphor because you have to stop first because, or maybe the universe is making you kind of like pause before you finish and power through and cross the road because you, you want to wait for everything to be safe. You want to make sure, and then also when you pause or left to your own devices, when you pause, does it put you in a position where you might be unsafe? So just respect. It's sometimes the danger or the risk or things that you might not be able to see. And with the moon card and the three of cups reversed, there are things in the realms that you might not be seeing. That does not mean that you have to go and look for it. Okay? Don't go and look for it. It will, you want to put that energy on yourself. Um, the hermit card does look for answers. It does look at everything that's going on, but it doesn't go like certain when it's healthy, it doesn't go looking for things that doesn't concern it. It's focusing on this higher question of what do I want? Where am I going? What do I see for myself? How, how do I feel? Etc. Etc. So while all of this is in the darkness, you have the moon card here, you have the three of cups reversed, and you have the hermit with a lantern lighting it up. Moving forward, you want to spend a moment and pause. Surrender is not the right word, but kind of exchanging your um, your plan to merge with the higher plan so everything has a chance to reveal itself and you will get gain clarity to the questions that you've been seeking is where are we going? Where is this headed? What's going to manifest? What are we going to do? Because you have this higher vision, this higher um, prospect is the word that's coming through. Like this prospect, like the, the prospects are looking good. But... Still, give it give it a chance. Let's talk about your love life really quickly. Capricorn, I can hear some of you guys being like, yes, Jess. Let's talk about love. Okay, so that one jumped out. Oh, see? Maybe this is what's happening for you. You have the Fool card. This Fool card jumped out. This is very new energy. It's very brand new. Very new, very inspired, very open. Oh, see, Seven of Cups. You might be exploring your options or exploring where this connection is going um, or with or what you can create with your current partner. And the Nine of Cups, it's literally like I'm hearing like the world is your oyster. There's just newness. There's new freshness here. Look, my love. Yes, see? You have Three of Swords. Because I was like, what is the problem? The Lover's card, the Moon card, and the Hermit card. The problem is, is that you're so used to disappointment. You're so used to um, things not working out, or if you trust someone, or if you rely on someone, that they're going to let you down. And at the base of your love reading is the Four of Swords. You're, you're worried that if you let your guard down, or if you have an expectation, 
um, or ask for someone for something that they're going to promise it to you, but they're not going to deliver. And the spirit, I'm really getting a sense of you actually giving to yourself right now what it is that you need so that you're not relying on a partner to do it for you. Something about that is so healing. Something about that is so healing, especially with the lover's card. I know that the lover's card is about choice and decision, but in this reading, in this card deck, the mermaid tarot, the person that she's looking at is herself. Um, it's just going to help you to not have to overly rely on other people to fulfill your needs. Your needs will be fulfilled, duh, because you're definitely going to be giving to yourself, but it's only going to add on to your needs even further when someone else gives it to you. But you're so um, expectant of things not working out or being disappointed or someone dropping the ball or I haven't had this, so now I have to do everything in my power in order to make this something that I have because the prospects are looking up. And it's like spirits like just kind of put that those those expectations on reserve. Yes. It is safe for you to love. That's what I'm seeing is that you're actually creating a safe space. This is not just for you, but for others to, to embrace you, to work with you, to collab with you, to connect with you. Because they don't feel this. They It allows passion to flow. They can come to you. They can approach you. They can give to you and without like, oh, I feel forced to do this or I have to or whatever. Separation. I'm also when I see separation, I also feel like this is not saying there's separation in your love life. Although if that's occurring, um, it, it then that's a d definitive sign to that. I just feel like with separation, this is literally like how you give to yourself in order to make it so that it is you do feel safe to love because your love cup is so filled of what it is that you're giving to yourself, and their love cup is so filled that they it, come back to you after separation. After let's say let's say separation is just them going to work or them taking the dog for a walk or they're traveling or whatever. It gives that it opens the door for them to come back and be like, I missed you, my love. And then you're just like, I know, I missed you too. Instead of them being like, Oh my god, she's been nagging me or he's been nagging me because I haven't been home, because I haven't been doing this, blah blah blah. blah. And it allows this lightness, this light energy with the, the cards flirt here. So that's what it is I'm seeing for you. Um, when it comes to love for the month of um, April or any time that is you're watching this, <laughs> I want to pull this card, Wisdom. I feel really called to pull from this deck, Wisdom of the Oracle. Oh, see? It's like, okay, so the card that just jumped out is Chop Wood. So this is you, like, let's say you're chopping wood because you're building a cabin a log cabin you have this vision of the log cabin but you have to chop the wood to get the logs to build the log cabin so it's in this moment now that you're just taking care of what you have to take care of now um to give everything a chance to show up all the resources that you need or else you're going to build this log cabin and it's not going to have a door or it's not going to have the glue or the support realize that you are still blessed it's not taking away from your blessing. It's only adding on to the blessing. In fact, the blessed card is ruled by the number 22. This is about collabor not collaboration, but things coming together effortlessly so that they can benefit you, so that it can be a blessing. But if one thing is dragging its feet, then it ends up being like a problem. It ends up becoming a problem because you end up having to give everything, and that's no longer balanced. By the book means follow the rules. Don't jump ahead of... Um, the progress. Don't jump ahead of in your journey. You have to take it step by step. Chop wood in the meantime. That means do what you got to do now. Take care of your priorities. Take care of yourself. Keep keep your, your routine as much as our routines are deviated now. Keep your routine as much as possible in order to not waste time, but give more, give more in your time. Okay, and what does Spirit want to give to you now? A message, a final message. Yep. I feel like one. I feel like you need one more card. There. Oh. <laughs> just, I'm gonna take all of them because I feel like you ask me for more, you get a lot, which is good. Okay. So time to decide. This is literally what it was I was saying. 
and also what I was seeing within the cards because you have seven of cups, a lot of seven of cups and four of swords and queen of wands. This energy was like, let me just take my time so that I can decide and then I can build and I can create and I can be fragrant and I can be abundant. Make a decision now so you can move forward. I don't see it necessarily as making a decision as far as this is what I want, this is what's going to happen. It's just can, uh, reaffirming what you know and allowing everything to come together. Release all anger. When I see this, yes, you might have anger issues. Yes, you might be um, that that force that I've been talking about. Like all of your force just, ugh, like you're really just like pushing it out there. I don't see it as release all anger. It's just give low low battery mode. Like don't put all of your energy exerted into this one thing because it feels aggressive when you do that. It feels very attackish. Okay, so we wanna, yeah. Open your third eye. This is that moon card, that moon card energy and three of cups reverse and the hermit card. Open your third eye means that it's not about what you can see, all of what you can see. It's about respecting the universe and what is happening and what will happen and giving it time to develop. Um, if you open your third eye in this rest space and exploring all of your options and allowing yourself to daydream and to visualize and to ultimately to manifest and to set intention, you will allow things to, like the vibration to lift and your energy to change and things just feel better. They feel lighter. They feel more fun, you know, and then reach for the stars. This is, you deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your intention on. Don't fo focus on things that are pissing you off. Don't focus on things not progressing forward. Don't focus on how people have disappointed you or how this situation is frustrating you. And, God, I'm so angry that I'm, you know, we're here right now. I wish I could do this. And it's just actually use this time to gather to low battery mode and then to decide ultimately what it is that you want for yourself. Now, your extra cards are your wish is coming true. See, it is your wishes are coming true, more than one. Magnify your intentions. That's exactly what it was I said. Trust. New beginnings. These are your cards, Capricorn. This is all you. Be positive and raise your vibration. I'm done. <laughs> I, I Cards, you know, I'm not surprised. I'm never surprised because these cards, they are on point and I, not to toot my own horn, but my readings... They serve. They do serve. I love, I always love the journey from start to finish where I have an, an intuitive sense, I have an intuitive message, I'm picking up on vibes, and it only confirms. Honor thyself. That's literally what I've been saying. That's the only card I'm going to pull from this. Actually, I feel like your partner. Oh man. My microphone just slipped off. Sorry for your earbuds if they got attacked by the noise of that. Um, your partner for love life, what is what are they thinking? What message can they give to you? Oh. Oh, oh my god. Did I say this to you or was this in another reading? I can't remember because all the readings merge into one sometimes. I can't remember. Number one, you're being watched by loving eyes. I feel like this is them also being like, I'm going to catch up. I'm going to meet you. I'm going to show up. I'm going to catch up. Just give me time. They choose you. They chose you. And those you love, love you. That's what your partner would tell you is that I've been watching you. I've been observing. I'm, I chose you. I'm not going anywhere. And I love you. I, I value you. In the meantime, honor yourself. That's what Divine wants to give you is you to honor yourself and give to yourself. Okay, my loves, so that's what it is that I'm going to, that's the reading for what I see for you um, for this month, in this case, the month of April. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I go live every Monday, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we talk about all of what I see astrologically in the transits and all of what you can do in order to prep and prepare and um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, share it with a friend or um, someone that is that you care about who could benefit from some guidance at this point in their life, um, especially when it comes to their zodiac sign. Okay, so I will see you in my next video. Bye.